I absolutely love a week where we spend the entire week looking for God's wonders. I have taught before, you might have heard me, the art of marveling. To absolutely marvel at what you see, the common, the ordinary, as if you're seeing it for the first time. Then perhaps this is what becoming like a little child again means. To see God's wonder again. To be in surprise of life. To absolutely delight in what you see. It says in Acts 3 verse 10, They were filled with wonder and amazement. Well, I pray that you're filled with wonder and amazement this week. There are days that you can only stand back in awe and say, Thank you, God. A miraculous healing. Some unexpected supply. A surprise. A heartfelt compliment. An act of love. A promotion. Or a perfect outworking of some situation that you've been dealing with with uh, so much effort for so long, this deep wonder, this awareness of our oneness with God is something to be cherished. When we stand in awe and we are overwhelmed with the love and the greatness of God, So this week, let us go out, let us do this in a way that that we're looking for every second of every day. We're looking for God's wonders. Let us seek the joy in the ordinary. For instance, the joy in a child's eyes or a pet's eyes. I get great joy when I look into the eyes of my golden retriever. The passionate understanding of a friend can give you great joy. The kindness of a good deed. The thoughtfulness of a stranger. Let us look up to the majestic hills, to the red sunsets, to the golden sunsets, to the clouds above our heads, and let us become so conscious of God's beauty and of God's loving creations that praise and thanksgiving fill us. And let us look, too, within ourselves how incredibly wondrous we are made How beautifully our organs function, even when we're not concentrating on them. How great are our powers. How much we can do and be and how far we can travel in thought and in reality. Well, today I pray that you look for God's wonders. I pray that you are able to stand in awe and are overwhelmed with the love and the greatness of God.